If you're into hacking or CTFs, you've probably heard of Interpreter. It's one of the best payloads you can get on a machine because of all the different tools you can use for post-exploitation, one of which being a keylogger. A keylogger does exactly what the name implies. It records a user's keystrokes and sends them back to you to see if you can capture any confidential information. So if we have my interpreter session on a box and we know that there's another user logged into that box, we may be able to capture their keystrokes to find credentials or other interesting information. To do this, once we have a interpreter session open, the first thing we're going to want to do is migrate to an interactive process. To list all of the processes in my interpreter, we just want to type PS, and this will dump all of the processes that are currently running. The next step is to find a process that has a session of one. So here we have the session column and anywhere where there's a one, we know that we have an interactive process. Arguably one of the best processes to migrate to is the explorer.exe executable. Explorer.exe is the process that manages things like your Windows taskbar, so it's pretty much always going to be running. We see explorer.exe right here with a process ID of 6432. So once we know that, we can type migrate 6432. And once we see migration completed successfully, we know we have injected our interpreter payload into the explorer.exe process. Once we're in explorer.exe, to start up our keylogger, we just want to type in keyscan underscore start, and that will start sniffing any keystrokes that our Dr. Brown user will type in. This is going to run in the background and we can continue to do any enumeration or other exploitation. And once we want to see the output of the keylogger, we would just type a keyscan underscore dump to dump out everything that's been recorded by the keylogger. After waiting for a couple of minutes, if we do our keyscan dump, we see we've captured what appears to be a password. After waiting a little longer, if we try keyscan dump again, we see the word administrator and then the beginning of what looked like the password for the administrator user from before. If you want to try this out yourself, try out hospital on Hack the Box.